dar uh, testimonios de, uh, que van a, a, a este, hablar sobre que José. During the time he was in the hospital, he was handcuffed to his bed. Even after ICE was informed that he was in an intensive coma and was not able to walk or let alone do anything else. As his wife, this is not the way I wanted to see my husband on what would end up being his last days with us. Dio cuenta del sufrimiento en que estaba su esposo José. Uh, José había sufrido un derrame cerebral. Fifteen days after he was sent to the hospital, ICE left a letter in his hospital room stating that they were releasing him from their custody. His family discovered this news hours after ICE left the letter. ICE and GEO essentially wiped their hands clean of any involvement with his case. On March 20th, through the excruciatingly difficult decision of his family, Jose Luis Ibarra Bucio was taken off life support at the hospital, and he passed away the very next day. What happened to Jose the day that he collapsed? Did he receive swift and appropriate medical care? Why did ICE release him from their custody in such a heartless manner? What are they hiding, and why won't they tell the truth to Jose's family? I was afraid of what the outcome would be if I stopped. I actually was told I wasn't going to be able to have children. And I miraculously got pregnant. And he was never able to meet him or see him. So it's very, very hard. I know that I will never be able to see him again. I'll never be able to hug him again. I'll never be able to hear his voice or see him smile. <laughs> Father, <laughs> 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 <laughs>